Hi, in the last video, we saw how to use the AWS IAM service using the AWS Management Console from the browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AWS IAM service or any AWS service for that matter using AWS CLI, which is the command line interface. So let's get started. Now, I just wanted to show you the setup that I have for this demo. Now I'm using WSL2, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux along with the Windows terminal app. So I can have a Linux terminal on one tab and in another tab, I can have a Windows command prompt. I can also open a Windows PowerShell or Azure Cloud Shell if needed. But for this demo, I'm just going to stick with Linux and the Windows command prompt. If you want to learn more about how I installed these, do check out my other video dedicated to WSL2 and Windows Terminal. Now I'll show you how to install the AWS CLI both on Linux as well as Windows. So here is the documentation site for installing the AWS CLI. I have included this link in the description of the video. Now as you see here, it talks about the AWS CLI version 1 and 2. So the version 1 is an older version and the latest version is the version 2. So we'll be installing CLI version 2 in this video. So if we scroll down and go to the Linux section, if we scroll further down, so these are the commands to install AWS CLI version 2 on Linux. So we'll copy these three lines one by one and execute on the Linux terminal. So the first command is to curl and download the zip file and name it as AWS CLI v2.zip. So it's downloading it from the AWS website. The download is now complete. The next step is to unzip the zip file that was downloaded. As you see, it's unpacking all the zip files. Last step is to run the AWS install command using the administrator privilege. That's why we are using sudo here. And it says you can now run AWS dash dash version to verify the version of the installed uh, CLI. So we'll run AWS dash dash version. And as you see, it's showing AWS CLI 2.6.1. So we have AWS CLI 2 installed on Linux. Now let's see how to do the same on the Windows command prompt. So on the same website, uh, if you collapse the Linux uh, section and open the Windows section. So here they have this uh, single command which will install the AWS CLI 2 on your Windows command prompt. So let's copy this. And when I go to the command prompt, I just paste this and say enter. So the Windows installer will start uh, the pop-up and it will start installing the AWS CLI. So just click on next. So this is the license agreement. So just say I accept and say next. Here it will show the location of where it will install the AWS CLI. So it's C program files, Amazon, AWS CLI V2. Just say next and say install to start the installation. So it's asking to verify the publisher, which is the Amazon Web Services. So I'll say yes here. So now it's, it has started installing. It's saying copying new files. It might take a while uh, for the installation to complete. And now it says uh, the installation has completed and click on finish. Now, if we run the same AWS dash dash version command here, it should show the same AWS CLI 2.6.1, which we saw here on the Linux terminal as well. So this is how we install uh, AWS CLI version 2 on Linux as well as Windows. Now, before we actually start using the AWS CLI, 
we need to create a user on the AWS IAM console which will have programmatic access to the AWS account. Now, as you see on the screen, I've created a AWS CLI user which has the programmatic access and admin privilege to the AWS account which we created. There's another user called Alice, uh, but for the CLI demo, we'll be using the AWS CLI user. To understand what all commands this AWS command supports, we just type in AWS help. This will bring up the help page where it will have the description of what this uh, AWS command is all about. Now, if we scroll pages using the spacebar button, one of the pages will show all the available services that this command line supports. Now, these are all the services which you can use through the CLI. Now, if you keep, keep scrolling down, So one of the services is IAM, uh, which we'll be using next. Now with IAM, what all subcommands does it support? So the way to check that is AWS IAM help. Now this shows all the available commands within the IAM service. So if you see this create group, this delete group, create role, all these kind of things. Now, if you want to list something, uh, let's scroll down to the list section. So here you see list groups, list roles, list user policies, there's list users as well. So let's try to use this list users uh, command. So I'll quit this by typing Q. So I'm out of the help section now. So now I'll type in AWS IAM list users which should ideally show us all the users within the account now it's saying unable to locate credentials you can configure credentials by running aws configure so we are seeing this message because we haven't logged in yet and aws doesn't know which account to connect to and to and the way to do that is using the aws configure command So here it's asking for AWS access key ID. Now here's the CSV file which I had downloaded for the AWS CLI user. So I'll copy the access key ID from here and paste it. Next it's asking me AWS secret access key. So I'll copy the same from here. Next, it's asking default region name. So I'll put us-east-1 for now. And then the default output format. So I'll put uh, JSON for now. So there's a page which shows what all output format it supports. So JSON, YAML, YAML stream, text, table. So these are all the supported output formats. So I've included this link also in the description of the video. Now, once you configure this, it will store all these data in the home directory under .aws folder in the file named credentials. So if we cat that file, you'll see that it contents has AWS access key ID and the secret access key, which we just punched in for the user AWS CLI user. Let me clear the screen and let me run AWS IAM list users command again. So this time we'll see it, it actually outputs the values. So there are two users it outputted. One is the username Alice. The other is the username AWS CLI user. So that's what we saw from the AWS management console also. There are two users. So that's what we got from the AWS CLI as well. Now let's see what what current user the CLI is using to connect to AWS account. And the command for that is AWS IAM get user. So it's showing the username AWS CLI user because we use the credentials for this user to connect to the AWS account. We use the access key and the secret uh, access key ID for this user. So this is how you use the AWS IAM service. And let's say you want to use some other service. Uh, let's, let's say the S3 simple storage service. So 
we can see if there are any buckets available in the account so it returned nothing which means we haven't created any s3 buckets as of now let's try the ec2 instances so we say ec2 describe instances so again it returned an empty uh, response back which means we have no ec2 instances running in the account so this is how you set up your aws cli so basically all the actions that you can perform via the browser aws management console you can perform the same things using aws cli so if you are a person who likes to write scripts who likes to automate things aws cli is the one for you if you are a person who likes ui and doing things on the browser then use the aws management console so that's all i had to cover in this aws cli video if you enjoyed the video please press the like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you